Do you want to know how you can make your own WordPress website for free? In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create a WordPress website 100% free. So this won't cost you any money and I'm going to show you from start till finish how you can set this up so that in a few minutes from now, you'll get access to WordPress and you can start building your own WordPress website. If that sounds interesting, make sure you go ahead and watch this video all the way until the end so that you don't miss any important steps. Leave a like on the video, that would help me out and now let's just get started. All right, step number one is getting access to WordPress. So for that, we're gonna be using a website called pantheon.io. So you wanna to go to pantheon.io, you can then click on the yellow get started button in the top right corner and you can sign up for free. You can sign up by using simple and basic info that you would normally use or you can scroll down and connect with your Google account so that you can sign in to this platform with Google. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, make sure you sign up and then let's just get into the next step. After creating your account, you'll end up on the Pantheon dashboard, which looks like this. What you can do is click on create new site right here and you can then start building your website. Step number one is making sure to name your website. So because we're using Pantheon, Pantheon will be included in our domain name. So because this is a free website tutorial, there will be a branded subdomain in your domain, if that makes sense. If you don't want that, if you want www.httmedia.com, for example, you're gonna have to pay, there's no way around that. Anyway, on this platform, we can do everything for free and it works. So what you can do is enter a name right here. So if I'm gonna call this HDD Medias, what you can do is then simply uh, select your region and then click on continue. What it's gonna do right now is create your website. In the next step, we're gonna be deploying WordPress onto that website. So that will look like this. So all you need to do is click on deploy. That might take a few minutes but then all of it is pretty much set up so that we can get into the next step. Next up, click on visit your Pantheon site dashboard because we've just created our website. We've also deployed um, WordPress onto that, but all we need to do now is install WordPress on the website. So this is your website dashboard. You'll see these two buttons over here. So visit development site. If I click right there, you can go ahead and install WordPress. So first of all, go ahead and select your language, then click continue. I'm gonna keep it at English. And then next up, what you can do is enter all of this information. Come up with a site title, a username, password, email, and then click install WordPress right here. And there we go. Once you're done doing that, you can access WordPress. So this is the WordPress dashboard, and this is where you can start building our website. So first of all, what I recommend doing is going to plugins and then clicking on add new, because in order to build a website, you either need to know exactly how you can do it with code or you can use a simple template and a website builder. So what I recommend doing is going to plugins and then searching for Astra. So this will help you with a lot of different templates. So install this one and then activate it right there. And then if you simply scroll down and you go to see library on the starter templates one, they will send you over to all of the templates that you can start using. As you can see right there, in the top right corner, you can select a website builder. So if I wanna build the website with Elementor, what I can now do is simply select one of these templates on here, and I can then start customizing that. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can choose a template, how you can get that onto your website and then customize it. So first of all, you wanna filter for free because I wanna keep this a 100% free tutorial. You can then go ahead and find a template that you like. So I kind of like, let's see, I kind of like this one. What you would do is click on it. First of all, you can then preview it by clicking in the bottom left corner, which will then show you the website. So this is the template. So you can get this entire website with just a few clicks. So this actually looks pretty good, pretty professional. So let's say that you want to use it. What you would do is click on uh, import complete site. If you only want to import a specific page, you would simply select that page and then click right here. But I'm gonna go with the entire website. So click right here, import complete site. This will then be uh, imported. So skip and import, click import, and there we go. Now this should only take a couple of minutes. So hopefully I'll get back to you guys soon. And the template is now on my website. So if we take a look here, if we just scroll through, we can see that this is a professional looking website and we can now start customizing this. So what you would do is click right here on edit with Elementor 
and this will send us into Elementor where we can start building and customizing our website. And here we are inside Elementor. So if I simply scroll down, you'll see that this is the website template that I just imported onto my website. But what's important is that you can customize it with all of your own content, right? Because you don't want to use a template with these basic images. You want to use your own images on here and your own text. So what you can do with Elementor, which is the website builder, is customize the text and all of these sections and images on the website. So what you can do is simply select an entire section by clicking right here and you can then start customizing the section. So you can change the layout, the style, and you can also uh, use advanced settings. But if you simply want to change the text, what you would do is select it and then right there you can change it. So hello, I'm a video maker or pretty much type in whatever you would like to add. Next up, go to the next text basically, and then change the name or whatever it is that you want to change. So if you want to change this, you can pretty much type whatever you want. So that's pretty much how you can change the text. Now you can also customize the uh, like fonts and all of that. What you would do is go to style and then right here you can do all of this. Now in terms of editing images, it's pretty much the same. So you would click on it click on the edit icon, click right there on choose image. You can then upload media from your current library or you can go with free images from Pixabay. For example, if you type in fitness, you can choose any of these images because all of these are free to use. So let's say that I wanna go with, um, let's see, let me scroll back and let me just simply go with this girl that's running you would click save and insert and then click insert media and there we go. You can then go ahead and use that image on your website. You can also change the size of it right here and that's pretty much how you can do that. So all of this is pretty simple. You can see that all of this is drag and drop and you can, do, you can simply select it and then start building. What you need to do if you want to get rid of an entire section, so maybe I don't like, let's say this, is click on the cross and then it's gone. If you want to add a section, you can pretty much scroll down. You can click right here, select your structure and then click right there and then pretty much add whatever you would like to add. So maybe I want to add a YouTube video. You would then drag that on here. It will then show up, customize the link right here and you've then got yourself a YouTube video on your section. So that's how you can start building your WordPress website. So this is pretty much the website that we now have. Don't forget to update your website once you're done. Update, there we go. If I now click preview changes, we can also preview our website. So this is my website and it's already live. If I copy this, if I then paste that in there and go ahead and actually visit the website, we can see that this is now my website. And because I didn't customize the text, it doesn't make any sense right now. But in my opinion, this definitely looks professional and all of this is done for free without a lot of hassle or a lot of knowledge because we're using free templates, free website builders, free hosting, free domains, everything is free and it actually looks pretty good as well in my opinion. Now with all of that being said guys, I would appreciate it if you can leave a like on the video. I'm not selling you guys any programs or courses or whatever. So all I'm going to ask for in return is a like on the video. That would help reach this video to more people so that more people can build their website for free. Thank you so much and then I'll see you hopefully in the next video.